in Quaker High School um, in California. Ninety, something like 92% of our students come from public schools. So one of the things we try and look at with this question of sustainability is how do you look at sustainability from lots of levels? How do you look at it from a really depthful perspective? So it's not just about ecological sustainability, it's about you know, economic sustainability. I'm um, building and installing drying racks for all the cabins for um, clothing that go up to the roofs of the cabin on the pulley system. Hot water solar panels that were donated to the school, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago or something. And it came and revamped the whole, all of them. So she took, got new glass, she took them all apart, put them back together. And then the fi following semester, um, which was last spring, um, Tier uh, came and he worked with an engineer to build the structure and then mounted the solar panels and did all the plumbing. You know, it's your notes from the energy lecture. It's knowing the, the basic gist of the biomimicry and what that means, what biomimicry is. And then uh, these readings that I gave you for today about biofuels and about sort of all alternative energy resources. When you convert one form of energy to another, generally you're going to lose some of the energy to be this, not, the, not the type of energy you were looking for. You know, if we're talking about heating and cooling in a house, if it's 90% efficient, then that means 90% of it is going to its purpose that you want it to heat or to cool your house. So you want it to be efficient, and that's exactly related to the, to the thermodynamics. They heat up much quicker and much greater space, and they're, they're just called infrared space heaters. Up to 75% of most heat loss in the home is not through the insulation of the windows, but through little leaks and cracks in the house. You know, in this case, creating something beautiful so that people want to attend to it, people want to take care of it and maintain it over time.